Om Shanti, welcome back. Now we are doing the recording of 3rd of October. Supreme Godfather wants us to look at this complete drama where you are an actor, I am an actor. And he wants us to look at this drama as a play or a drama itself in which nothing needs to be taken very seriously. It doesn't mean that you start doing things which are going to bring you loss and you don't care about people, you don't care about people's feelings and you don't care about wealth and everything. It doesn't mean that. It means that if something bad happens to you, something not so good happens to you, then how do you face it? Do you face it like a hero or do you face it like a villain? Do you become a villain because of situations or does the hero come out of you during situations? So God says over here in today's blessing, May you consider any problem in the drama to be a part of the play and play your part accurately as a hero actor. So either you and I can become a hero or we can become a villain depending upon the situation, right? It depends upon the tolerance power. It depends upon the level of spirituality or the level of purity. God says a hero actor is one who doesn't act according ordinarily. He acts every part accurately no matter how many problems there are, what they, what the circumstances may be. He is not dependent on any of those. That means external circumstances don't change the mood of a hero. A hero remains a hero, doesn't become a villain. Somebody says something, you become a villain. Somebody puts you off, you become a villain. Somebody brings a loss to you, you become a villain. Somebody harms you in relationships, you become a villain. No. God says a hero doesn't change because of outer circumstances. God then says, because of having all rights, rights to what? To this knowledge, to the power, to the virtues. He overcomes them all in such a way that it is as though he is overcoming everything in a play. It's like a drama. Nothing serious. He's not taking anything or anybody seriously. Anybody who's joking around, who's fooling around, who's making fun of him, who's bringing loss to him. He doesn't harm that person but protects himself. The method to protect himself is to not become revengeful not to take revenge, not to take any form of negative action, impure action. That's why he remains a hero. God then says, there is always happiness in a play, no matter what the play is. Even if he has a part of crying, externally, he is all, he's aware internally that all of it is an unlimited play. It's not that he's crying with all those feelings. There is a crying atmosphere around because of certain loss. Others are crying. He is not crying. He understands the play. He is calm and composed when the whole world is shaking around him. God then says, by your considering this to be a play, even a big problem becomes light. It's a kill. It's a play. It's a drama. And we are all actors. Why do you take it so seriously? There is no profit. There is no loss. There is no victory. There is no defeat. If you think it, as a play. More about it when you come to Brahma Kumaris and you understand the whole drama, how long this drama is and since when you have been a part of it. With this Om Shanti.